In the peace of these woods, it's clear when a sight or sound stands out. He was kind of stepping and then falling over and using its wing to right itself. And then it started crying out to its mate. Urban conservation specialist Kirsty Mool volunteers her time when animals are wounded or sick and has recently received several calls citing symptoms of a deadly strain of avian influenza, also known as bird flu. It got quiet in the summertime and then during migration, which started you know, late September, October, uh, we had another resurgence of it. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife says it's continued to get reports of infections in wild flocks since the Washington Department of Agriculture first flagged cases in May. They say if you see a bird with these symptoms, report it through their online portal. Birds that are very um, not uh, afraid of humans it, when they're approached, they kind of just sit there. Sometimes they have nasal secretions, sometimes they have diarrhea. Mole says people can also contact her, animal control, or in some cases, pause to get help. Very sick birds will be euthanized, but their removal can protect others in the area. We have wild birds being infected with it and domestic birds, so it spreads really easily because they all can be infected. In bald eagles specifically, 18 cases have been confirmed, though WDFW expects there are many more. He's got bird flu. Look at him wobbling. And Whatcom County has confirmed a die off of about 400 geese in that area. Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife says that that's just a fraction of the population, but is a significant number that it's watching. Reporting in West Seattle, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.